Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Run Kingdom. Now, here's something really good I'm happy about. For a few days, I've been trying my hardest to complete as many missions to try and collect as many points for the uh, Gotcha Lightning Bolt stuff. Uh, as you can see, there's stuff for daily, stuff for Lightning Bolts and Lightning Pass, and uh, it's got a Lightning. You know, that, that's just for something else. But with the Lightning Bolt mission, something really cool is I'm able to view all the cutscenes now. Because as you can see here, it goes all the way up to eight. So what I want to do, and of course, as here, you see, watch. Uh, one is already unlocked, but then there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Because at the very most, you need to get 65 lightning bolt missions completed, which I did already get a good amount done. Which uh, I'm hoping that I can get even more just so I can start pulling for uh, Stormbringer Kiki. But whatever the case is, what I want to see if uh, what I want to try to do is uh, in the separation of like two videos, I want to cover the whole story. I want to see if I can go through chapters one, two, three, and four in this video, and then after that, chapters five, six, seven, and eight in the next one. I'm hoping that's how it's going to turn out, because if not, then, uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just hoping that usually, like, maybe if the cutscenes are rather long, then maybe I could, like, I don't know, split the videos even more, but, like, three parts, but, I don't know. It just depends on how long the cutscenes, like, how long the cutscenes are. But, of course, before I get started on that, I will be saying that I will be reading comments from the video. Uh, this is the, is this the most generous update ever? For the new update, you know, the uh, Stormbringer Cookie update, where... I, le I legitimately completely forgot what the update was called. All I know is that it was called Stormbringer. So, I don't know. Maybe it's called, like, Call of the Storm or something. I don't know. But with that being said, I do want to mention that uh, if you want to leave a question and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this off with Chapter 1, Cutscene Considering. I'm pretty sure we have, we've already seen it already, but uh, it's good to have a nice recap over here, okay? Uh-oh. So it's like, it, it's, even the boom started, are you kidding me? That might have been my stomach rumbling, honestly. Way up above, where clouds form and scatter, existed a great weapon that held the power of the sky. T'was a divine weapon forged from the first lightning that struck the earth. The Heaven Splitter. I think I mentioned this before. That is a powerful name right there. When the Heaven Splitter slashed through the fabric of the sky, it created day and night. Which, I'm pretty sure I also mentioned this before. Before that, was it, was it just like nothing? Was it just like pitch black void? But I'm pretty sure if it was pitch black, that would have been night. I, I don't know. I'm still confused as to how that works, but whatever. The wind and clouds carry whispers of its great powers. The one who wields the Heaven Splitter will rule the skies. I think we know which cookie that is. According to legend, one can wield its divine powers by unsheathing the weapon from the heaviest cloud in the sky. It is said that the Heaven Splitter can cut anything in half, even a cookie's heart. So they say. All, all I'm saying is, no one would, no one would write that unless if they prove that it's true. So someone actually used this before to split a cookie's heart in half. I'm pretty sure they mean it romantically, but I'm fully convinced that you could literally slice a cookie in half and it would literally shatter all of your organs. I know it just got dark, but I'm just being real, especially when it comes to something called the Heaven Splitter. Okay, well, there's that cutscene done, which it basically just explains, uh, you know, the Heaven Splitter, uh, the lore behind it, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and read a few comments before we continue on. Let's, let's just read a bunch of the ones I see from Smart and Spiral first, because uh, they left a lot of comments in the video. One comment saying, oh gosh, the new Cake Tower's here. Literally, the Chaka Cake Tower has bosses. It's very hard to defeat the boss. What, you mean the Chaka Cake Tower? Oh, you mean the one that's currently out? Yeah, they're ridiculously hard, so I hope I can find a way to get through that. Uh, but another comment was uh, you, that you left is, uh, here's some recommendation. Oh, one thing I want to help for passing the Chocolate Cake Tower, here's a recommended team for beating the hard bosses. For Tray 1, Crimson Coral, Black Lemonade, Prune Juice, Linzer, and Snapdragon. With Tray 2, Any Defense Cookie, Eclair, Linzer, Tartatan, and Cream Puff with Magic Candy. Okay, I'll be sure to keep those in mind. Thank you for, so much for the uh, suggestions. And lastly, the last comment I read from you says, uh, Yikes, I think I was waiting for Strawberry Cake Tower. It's Endless One. I, I didn't know it was Endless. 
Oh gosh, I, I, I can only imagine what this is like. And also, I'll read a comment from Ultra9867 saying, Devsis, why, when I asked for the Tower of Sweet Chaos to return, this is not what I meant. Why the heck? It's so difficult. I can't even get past the first level. Yeah, I can't get past the, I can't get past the first level either. So honestly, you're not alone there. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Like, what is the difficulty? I know there are some strategies, but like, is it worth using up all my XP star candy jellies? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get to story number two. Black Raisin Cookie. Wildberry Cookie. Are you all following along? Okay, so we have, like, the disciples of, like, the ancient cookie. At least the first three. Because uh, as far as we know, there's not really many left for uh, White Lily or Golden Cheese. So it's just, bas it's basically the Cookie Odyssey gang. Of course. This is nothing. Even though I realize, I don't think Black Raisin came to the Cookie Republic. The Creme Republic. But, well, it's cool to see all of them, you know, be around each other. Let me make this clear. I'll come running if anything happens to your kingdoms. So I don't owe you two for this. Um, that's a given. Yeah, facts. Remember, we were called by the ancient heroes to aid their mission. We traveled Crispia for something like this. The location doesn't matter, as long as we're needed. I agree. Very well, then. So, from the intel you've gathered, there's a mysterious tower being built around here? That's right. There have been similar reports from cookies living on the outskirts of the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Hmm, I've heard something like this before. Dark Enchantress Cookie builds towers that bake cake monsters. Hordes of desert abominations that bring nothing but chaos. And if it is, we'll fight them off and restore peace in this area. I was about to interrupt saying like, so like, the, the Tower of Sweet Chaos, I think that's something similar if that's the case. So realistically, this is, they're just like... They're like outposts of sorts, where like towers are just being randomly built, but they're made for the exclusive fact that they could just make more cake monsters, which if that's the case, that's very much going to be worrying if there's going to be like tons upon tons of them, but hopefully they aren't going to be that hard to like destroy. But considering how the first tray, I can't even get past it, I think we're screwed. Black Raisin Cookie, could you ask your crows to scout out the tower? <laughs> that's, that's a good bird. Not now. The crows are telling me there are thunderclouds looming above. Oh, yeah, you don't want them being zapped down. It'd be risky to send them off in these conditions. Oh, well. I suppose we'll scout out the tower ourselves. Cream Wolf, are you ready? They, they sound hungry. All right. Hop on, everyone. We'll arrive in no time. What on earth, Brad, are they doing? Oh, here comes the gossipers. Oh, dear. Are they actually headed to the tower? And the whisperers. Hmm. Look, the villagers are observing the tower from afar. This is... The tower sticks out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> How unsightly. Cake monsters are guarding and building the tower. It's not done being built yet. Huh? Look, the ground surrounding the tower is turning into... Cake! Wait, so the, the, the tower's infected? This is much worse than I thought. We must report back to his majesty. Leave it up to me. We need to stop them from finishing the tower until his majesty arrives. All right. We'll infiltrate the tower. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's go. Very well. On my count. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, you three. Now, hold on just a moment. Who the flub is this guy? Ah, who are you? You can't just block our path like that. You could have gotten hurt! Hmm, you folks seem like you're headed into that tower. Yeah, well, what else are we gonna do? But are you aware of the legends steeped in that area? You mean the legends of death that that tower's gonna bring? Yeah, we need to break this. We only know that it's a village near the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Crunchy Chip Cookie. What do you know of that area? Well, I've been there before, but nothing stood out to me. Oh, I heard there's a shrine made for some rite. <laughs> I see. Well then, gather around. Let me tell you a little tale. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and listen, but I don't think we have time for this. Okay, never mind. Well, now we have chapter two unlocked, even though it was, it was basically unlocked from the moment that we saw it. But we're basically at the perfect point now where we could read a comic question of the day. I just do want to go ahead and read a few comments before I go ahead and get to that point. But with that being said, uh, there's a few comments from Mona Wolf Deer. One saying, my financier uh, cookie is actually at one star ascension, which 
That's actually really cool. I'm, I'm glad that you have that at, a, at such a high level. Another comment you left is, common question, nothing. The only good thing is the 10 day thingy. Like, I will at the very least get the new cookie. I I, I, I thought it you like more. I'm gonna be honest, I thought you would like a little bit more in the update. But anyway, another comment left by uh, Jenny TBSVB says, Devstars just made an update referencing you real. Well, if only hype had something to do with electricity. Unfortunately, the only, I mean, technically they do, but it kind of, it, it's it's weird. It's lore stuff. I need to drop more lore on that just in the future, but whatever. Anyway, uh, there's one more comment I'll read for right now, which comes from a name I can't understand because it's gibberish, saying, free legendary cookie and got her on my second poll in the epic gotcha. How the, the like the normal epic gotcha? Like, are, do you mean like, the, like, not like the lightning pass, whatever the public is, like for the legendary gotcha thing up here, just the normal epic one? How the plug do you have? How, how do you how do all of you plugs have this much luck? And where can I get some? I, I just want the new cookie too, without having to spend so many resources. <laughs> and, uh, don't don't look at my crystal count; it doesn't matter. Anyway, with that being said, I think I'll go ahead and read a common question of the day. Which do you think I would have one prepared? Absolutely not. And I you you know I would always think like oh maybe I could just ask one later, but I usually have to make sure I always ask it you know in the middle of the video, which I could probably like ask more like funny concept like questions but whatever i'm gonna do something pretty interesting because i just thought of it right now uh i guess I, it doesn't matter what age you were like it doesn't matter do you remember like a game that you remember playing on like like let's say like a flash game or something like that like something on, like cool maps or something like that do you remember playing any specific type of game on your computer that you remember like liking because back when i was younger uh when like usually i would play games like of course i play games but like Back in the day, I would love playing these Flash games back when Flash was a thing, if anyone remembers. Like, basically, I'm asking, did you have any, like, favorite, like, online, like, Flash game, if that makes sense? Like, something simple. Like, one I really love is a puzzle game called Me and the Key, where it revolves around a bunch of penguins. And you just, like, click on, like, certain things, complete certain tasks, and it's just a fun time. But I do remember uh, another thing called, like... I don't remember what it was, but you control this ball and you keep shooting at these monsters and like the levels get harder and harder. And it was such a while ago, but it was an amazing game. But oh, this is so I could talk about this so much about like old games I played and like how much of a fanatic I would be of them. But I would probably be sitting here for hours, not even just trying to talk about games that I remember loving to play, but specifically games that I would like try and remember. And then I would talk about, but I probably wouldn't remember the names of the game, but I would still remember and talk about them. Just be sure to tell me know. Let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, let's move on to story number three. Let's see what lore we have to learn from this old wise club. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Far up in the sky, where clouds take shape. It's rumbling again. There lived Cookies Divine, blessed by the heavens. Swa. <laughs> I think that's like the wind. And one of them governed the skies above. I see. I hear that electricity. Yeah! That'll restore some balance to the land. How? <sighs> it's time to eat some candied clouds and watch what's going down on Earth, Bread. Hmm. Why is it so quiet? Hey, is anybody there? I'm out of candied clouds. I demand some more. Who's good? Does that mean you just ate the ground that you're walking on? I said, I demand more candied clouds. I got, I got nothing. Blast it! All day they nag me, and where are they when I actually need them? With the deities of wind, rain, and clouds at her beck and call, the sky god looked down upon Earthbred. Bustling with life. So there's four. There's one for rain, one for wind, one for clouds, and one for the sky. Or maybe that's one for the lightning. I, I'm assuming thunder or lightning. But it does say that she's the sky god, so I guess it really doesn't make sense. Wind, rain, cloud. Is anyone there? Did I mention that I absolutely love her design? I'm just gonna say like right now, I think her design is insane and yeah, awesome. Though that would be a design. There's no way I could draw that. Like that's too intense for me. But I probably could. I should challenge myself one time. Oh no, I just love it. Ugh, this just won't do. Where did those three run off to? I'll give them a taste of my lightning when they return. It's rumbling again. 
And just as the Sky God was looking down upon Earthbred, teeming with life. I, I don't think she's happy. The skies over the giant icing ridge shook. And a great dragon hatched from within the clouds. When, when was that a thing? Just like, oh, everything started to go gloomy and dark. And now there's a plumbing dragon. The dragon had eyes white like snow and scales black like cacao. And so we called them... The black and white dragon. Now let's be honest, we can't really get more original with our names. We just base it off the color. What do we call the dragon that's like red but also a bit of white? Uh, red velvet dragon. What do we call the, like, the greenish red dragon? The Pattaya dragon. What do we call the yellowish dragon? The Ananas dragon. What, what do we call the rainbow dragon then? Gay dragon. <laughs> Anyway, that's the third one, which now we're introduced to a dragon, but the thing is, like, it sounded like it had a voice, like, with its roar. Maybe that's actually, uh, the Sky God? Maybe that's actually, uh, Stormbringer? I don't know, maybe they're on the search for the other cookies, but with that, with that being said, let's go ahead and read a few more comments, then we'll get to the fourth thing, read a few more comments, then we'll end the video there. So, uh, Matwez Litwan, I'm hoping saying that right, they left a comment saying, here's a fun fact on the telescreen screen, behind Stormbringer, you can see the Chaka Tower split in two. I wonder if I'm still able to see that somehow. I don't, I'd like to, but unfortunately, I'm not on the main title of the screen, so that's great. Arian Funhouse left a comment saying, I can't believe Crunchy Chip Kicking and Wild Berry Kicking are in the update story. Also, new electricity type. Uh, electricity type. Yay. Honestly, I'm glad that they decided to bring the two of them back, because let's be honest, they're they're a good duo. And I haven't even experienced all that they have to offer in the Kiki Odyssey. So... Seeing this is going to be a nice treat. Uh, Alola Mass SFHCM left a comment saying, Stormbreaker is by far the easiest legendary I've ever gotten. I'm saving a Hall of Ancient Hero slot for her. Yeah, she's really easy to get, and I'm very much happy that you can get her, but... Oh, wait, are you saying that... Wait, you said that, but you haven't even reached the three day, like the 10-day threshold for getting her, which means you've gotten her early. I need that luck. G give me some luck, please. I would like that. Sun and Gamer also left a comment saying, You're not going to believe how good my luck is. I actually managed to get Stormbreaker cooking my first try in her gacha banner. Dog, again, I need some of this luck. Are you kidding? I need some of this. Like, first of all, I'm proud of you, but still. Lena DeGio left a few comments. One saying, comment question of the day. My favorite part of this update is how easy it is to get Stormbringer Kiki. Yeah, it's very easy. I can attest to you that. And Joe the comment says, this update will hopefully cease, uh, no, cause people to make a kick run version of the meme. And then along came Zeus. He hurled a Slenderbolt. Uh, it's probably going to happen, but I just haven't reached that part in the story yet. So that'll be great when I reach that. But let's move on to the fourth part of the story where... So we're probably going to actually see the other gods as far as my knowledge goes. Uh, but story number four. Let's see it. Cook it up. Cook, cook up some lightning. It's rumbling. It's still rumbling. What's this? Okay, so that's the one for, uh, what was it? Earth, wind, and clouds? I think that's... Was it? I think, I think that's wind? This isn't the sound of the sky god's thunder. What's going on here? I should consult the others. Okay, so that is... No, it wasn't wind... Wind, cloud, and rain? Man, I'm starting to forget, but like... Okay, well, at least we do confirm that those roars are not from Stormbringer Cookie. Swah. It's like a swan. But it's not the sugar swan this time. Whoa! Rain deity, Cookie. It's always a pleasure to see you work your magic. Who the pleb is this swole pleb? Is that, like, is that the earth one? Is that the Earth one? Cause no way, no, no, that's got to be the cloud, cause they're like ho holding the. Okay, that's that's. I'm sorry, but that's actually a genius design right there. Thank you, I do enjoy my work very much. For some reason, when I think rain deity, it gives me like vibes of like sea fairy. I don't know why, but like there's got to be some correlation with it. Collecting life powder that has flown up to the skies to create clouds. Gathering them with the wind, and finally returning them to the earth with rain. Who else could possibly take our place? Only the sky god and us deities could maintain this cycle of life powder. <laughs> you make it sound so grand. Clouds just float, you know? Oh, don't sell yourself short, cloud deity cookie. Your clouds are imbued with life powder. They can turn into anything. Okay, let's, now now I want to be on Stormbringer's side. Now I want now I want to eat a whole cloud. Not to mention, 
My rain would be useless without your clouds. Now, sit back and watch as your creations become imbued with life powder and fall as raindrops. Ah, I do have to say this is quite relaxing. Hmm? Look, there's Wind Deity Cookie. Uh, apologies for interrupting your work. Something urgent requires your immediate attention. Hungry, so hungry. You can't just do that. You can't just go like, oh, here's the, here's like the ravenous dragon. It's gonna like most likely be stronger than Stormbringer. We so hungry. I just want some food. Just look, look at the face. It doesn't even have fingers. And okay, yeah, cookies don't have fingers, but like it has little like pointy nubs. Are you kidding me? What unfolded in front of the freshly hatched dragon was the vista at the Great Icing Ridge. I wanna eat it, could I? Oh, they, they, they just went and they didn't care. Mmm, mmm, I can eat it, oh yes! By the way, how'd you just become bored and you know full-blown English? The earth flowing with life powder was a sumptuous feast for the starving dragon. Mmm, still hungry. So hungry, need more. Blinded by greed and hunger, the dragon grew larger with each bite of earth and snow. Should have said greed and gluttony at this point. Chunks of land devoured by the dragon formed valleys and mountain ridges. <laughs> For five million crystals, would you slap this baby <laughs> I should. I don't. Uh, let's let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. And with every bite, the dragon gorged. They grew and grew until they became a looming mountain themselves. All right, wind's going blow. Oh, it might be my yawn. The dragon's breath became the wind, and with every breath they took, the ground would shake and rumble, unsated. The dragon looked up greedily at the snow, falling from the sky. I devoured earth and snow, becoming one with it. Does this mean devouring the sky will grant me its powers? It actually did grow in size. Oh, oh they're oh they're all they're all gonna be like terrified. Get back up here. As you can see. The black and white dragon is coveting the sky, Stormbringer Cookie. Another fool has stepped up to challenge me, the sky itself? The dragon will surely come for the heaven splitter. Will you punish them as you did with the others? Punish? Of course! I shall make sure they know their place in this world. A little punishment will serve as a necessary tool in the process. Okay, but why does it seem like the rain deity seem like pu like saying the word punish or just thinking about it seemed like a really good thing for her? I shall make an example out of this dragon to make sure no one on all of Earthbred dares challenge me again. Rain deity cookie. Let the rain fall from the skies. <laughs> Gladly. Dowsing the earth with rain is my sworn duty. Rain deity, rain deity is a sadist. Like, I'm sorry, I'm confirming it right now. That's a head cannon. Cloud deity, Cookie, create thunderclouds. Yes, Stormbringer Cookie. Thunderclouds coming right up. Wind deity, Cookie. You? You want me to gather the thunderclouds with my wind, right? Exactly. Well, seeing as you'll start grumbling if I don't. Silence! Go play with that conniving dra- No. Snake! While I prepare for battle! I mean, it does, it does look like more like a snake, if anything. So what you're saying is, you need time to gather lightning bolts. <laughs> oh, wind deity cookie, stop teasing the sky god so. Yeah, imagine poking fun at the literal god in front of you. All of you, enough! Now, be on your way! Alright, the cloud path is open. Come on, let's go! Okay, that's definitely a good place to leave it off considering we're at like 24 minutes and the rest of this video is probably going to be filled with me uh, leaving comments, but uh, like leaving comments, I mean reading them, but man, we're already like nearly done with the story. I mean, it does make sense. Like I mentioned, we would do four in this video and then four in the next one, but 
Oh, be prepared for that. This is going to be pretty exciting. But with that being said, let's leave us off on a few more comments. Like, there's a few from A Gamer 360 with one saying, Comic Crush of the Day, there's nothing new. It's boring. So boring that I now play Genshin. Yeah, the game who's got first anniversary caused Kick Run Kingdom to be popular in the first place. Literally, Kick Run Kingdom's third anniversary got me to hate a, a, hate a game for its gameplay and release schedule. I only stayed for the lore, which I'm getting mixed with now that I'm playing for playing Genshin Impact. I mean... It's kind of shocking. The only reason, it, you know the weird thing? It's not that I would agree with you, but the thing is, like, the reason why I never played Genshin is because of the fact that I've been told from other Genshin players not to play the game. Not even sure. I've been told, like, by four different people who play Genshin not to play the game. So, I don't know what that's about, but whatever. And you know the comment that I'll read just says, yes, four singers, a lot of time criminal, a library who needs, uh, who needs to be outside. Wait. Four singers, a lot of time criminal, and a librarian who needs to outside in the electric element who needs who needs to what outside what i don't know but xxx gs5 you can't i think that's your name saying i was screaming excitement when i saw that i didn't have to grind for another cookie yeah that is an upside for this update i do definitely need to admit luna cupcake also loved to comment saying comic question of the day i didn't really like anything in the new update to be honest i kind of want the lotus dragon on us dragon cookie update oh i feel like uh, I, I don't know. I feel like that would have to be like a big update because it definitely would need to correlate with Bataya Dragon in some way. Uh, MLG Bower Persona 5 Boy says, Is it just me or does Stormbringer Cookie look like a relative electric eel? Honestly, I would not be surprised if electric eel was like some sort of like a descendant from... Because uh, like they ha they look similar and they both produce electricity so it would make sense. And Joe the comment says, Comic question of the day, Besides the free legendary and rework pity system for legendary gotcha, I would say the addition of electric damage since uh, it, makes, it makes room for new team builds. Which that one I can definitely agree with because, you know, adding a new electric type makes it more unique. And the last comment I will read for the video comes from Max2 saying, Well, I know what to check on the daily. Thanks, if sisters. This will definitely make up for the witch's casino. I mean, a uh, castle. <laughs> oh my, which is casino. Shush, you fi <laughs> the thing, You're not even wrong, though, so I can't even disagree. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end the video right here. So if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe? And also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kick run YouTube set for absolutely free. You'll see a link to my Discord server called the Hype Piece Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal YouTube channel, but above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees.